Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Aisha and I'm a second year PhD student at the University of Cambridge. Well, I've created this channel to serve as an avenue to document my journey through grad school. So I can remember about a year and a half ago towards the end of my undergrad degree when I was thinking of what to do next and I was particularly considering postgraduate studies. I remember how difficult it was for me to imagine what it would be like doing a master's or a PhD or doing it in a university like Cambridge for that matter. I found it challenging to find people that I could relate to. People were not only doing what I was interested in pursuing at that time, but also people who looked like me, people who were young like myself, people who I could find some similarities with physically. So I spent a good proportion of my time online, searching through Instagram, YouTube, finding people that I could draw inspiration from, but also people that I could relate to. Most of the pages that I came across during this wandering phase were owned by senior academics. These were either people who were in the later stage of their academic journey, like final year um, PhD students, or people who were already established to a certain degree in their career path. I think we all are a bit familiar with the sense of confidence, the sense of I deserve to be here, the sense of my voice needs to be heard that comes with occupying such a position. Although I'm incredibly grateful for all of the inspiration that I was able to gather from these individuals, I still found myself searching for more. I wanted to dig deep, far beyond all of the glamour that come with attending academic conferences from countries around the world. I wanted to dig deep far beyond the beautiful pictures that I see of working stations, early money coffees and all of that. I wanted to know how it was like for these people at the beginning where they knew little to nothing. How did they transition to become the incredibly competent beings that we see now and we appreciate? I'm a beginner, right? So it was only curious for me to want to know what it was like for these people when they were starting from scratch. I had so many questions, so many thoughts during this phase and of course all of this faded away because no one could answer that for me. Fast forward to now that I'm a year into my PhD journey, I've been thinking of ways that I could be a support to someone like myself a year ago who was thoroughly searching for answers. I started this channel primarily to be inspired and hopefully to inspire others. By others, I mean young girls, young black girls, young Muslim black girls, and really anyone who is striving towards a huge goal or dream that they've set for themselves. My hope for this channel is to be raw and open about my journey through grad school. This is in my strong effort to be relatable in every sense. I plan to share with you all my humble beginnings and also share with you my lows and just all of the steps that I'm taking to achieve this dream that I've set for myself. Now, because I do not plan to make this channel a doom and gloom channel, I also hope to share with you my successes and the classic Instagram worthy highs. Of course, I also hope to share with you all of the glamour that comes with studying in such a fairy tale city and university like Cambridge University, which deeply I'm grateful for every single day because it's such a privilege to be here. So in a nutshell, my hope for this channel is to create a space where we can be real and share our life journey without feeling any sense of prejudice. Through all of the vlogs and things that I share on here, I hope that people who are thinking about but still unsure about grad school, STEM life, cancer research, studying in University of Cambridge, being black in the University of Cambridge, being black and Muslim in such a space, I hope that you can have a glimpse of what all of this entails by looking at the world through my small lens. So I just want to put a disclaimer again, although probably I've mentioned it earlier that I am not a professional in any way, shape or form. I am, I barely have it all together. So I am, it's a total, all of this is a learning process for me. I've created this channel to just raise more awareness about um, being black being Muslim, being a woman in spaces like this to just reassure you that it's something that is possible and because you realize that it's something that is possible, you yourself, you can reach for the stars, you can reach for greater things than I have reached for myself. 
there's not a better time than now to do this with the recent Black Lives Matter movement. I have met a lot of amazing black women doing research that in STEM, especially in Cambridge University. But one thing I've realized is that there's not a lot of spotlight on these women. Even though I'm not a perfect example of those women, I hope that by documenting my journey and just being open with it, there will be more awareness out there that there are black women, there are black Muslim women that are in these spaces and you can do it as well because these women are just average people like anyone else. So two important topics that are very close to my heart are accessibility and representation. So I used to view universities like Cambridge, Oxford, Harvard as, you know, humongous massive university that people like myself don't have access to. This is something that I know that most people, people that look like me, share the same sentiment. By documenting my journey through Cambridge University, I hope that someone like myself can also realize that, well, I can be in Cambridge as well. I feel like representation does matter. Most people lose passion in something that they would love to explore because they just don't find anyone who they could relate to doing it. Again, I am not setting myself as a standard example of a black Muslim woman or a black woman or a woman for that matter in STEM in Cambridge. I'm not a standard example of that. This is just my own journey and my own journey is specific to me. So that's just something that I'd like to put out there because although my goal is to serve as an example of some sort, I just don't want anyone to have a limitation in their thought that this is the only kind of experience that you can have as someone who looks like myself. So I have actually named this channel Practice Makes Pipette, which also goes back to the theme of uh, humble beginners and just striving towards a goal. So Practice Makes Pipette is something that I derived from Practice Makes Perfect. We aren't aiming for perfection because that's not a realistic goal, but we are aiming to be the better version of ourselves. I changed this from Practice Makes Perfect to Practice Makes Perfect pipettes which pipette is an instrument that i use in the lab often the meaning of the channel is that by working hard hopefully things will sort itself out and we will become accomplished and we'll live our dreams hopefully we'll get to the point where we can say i did it i finally achieved my goal so what are you going to expect from this channel you're going to expect blogs and sciencey stuff because I'm quite a nerd and I love science to heart although science has the good times and the bad times like any other thing in life but yeah expect vlogs sciencey stuff maybe some cooking here and there it's just a basic a day in the life of a PhD student also a disclaimer here that this vlogging thing is quite new to me so at the beginning it might be a bit off having a camera around and all of that but again and um, the idea of this channel is that it's a journey right to conclude all of my long rant please do tag along and let's build a community of um, humble beginners people who haven't achieved all of the goals that they've set for themselves but they are working every day despite all of the circumstances and i hope that by building this community we can draw positive energy inspirations motivations from one another and maybe possibly um, one day like the people we look up to and we are incredibly awestruck about we ourselves will also transition into those kind of people and more hopefully so please subscribe to my channel the best way that you can support me is to subscribe like comment and leave all of your positive remarks or anything you would like me to actually talk about or vlog about would also be a good feedback just on a context note i've been thinking of doing this for almost a year now and it's, it's taken a lot of planning to bring this to reality so i'm incredibly honored and happy to share this journey with you and i hope that you tag along thank you for watching to the end and i hope to see you on my next one bye